look, I don't want to argue about this. I realize other movies this season might have deserved a higher rating or what have you, but Slugs is a goddamn masterpiece, and I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. Ooh, classic era New World Pictures, hell yeah. Wait, Slugs the Movie? Not to be confused with Slugs the Musical or Slugs the Novel. Oh wait, there was a Slugs novel. <laughs> Marvel's The Gantman and the Slugs? Eh? No? Oh well. The opening theme of Slugs is mostly just a lot of screaming in case you didn't know what you were supposed to be doing. So Slugs just gets right to it, really. There's this gross guy in a gross house and he gets eaten by his couch? No, it's full of slugs. Seriously, they're all in the basement and all over the place. Slugs. They ate that man. No! 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 Get out of it! Don't at me! No! We're in Lyons, New York, which is populated by ordinary folks like this Mike Brady looking guy. He's the city health inspector and the sheriff asks him to come along to foreclose on the gross guy's gross house. Let's take my car. What the hell is this music? Is this a prank? Did someone send me a fake movie? This cannot be real. Son of a bitch. No scene deserves this music, especially not this 12 seconds of arriving in a dead man's house. Come on, what the hell? Once inside, they discover that the gross guy is dead. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, it's Mike Brady. Yes, ma'am. Wait, the Mike Brady looking guy is named Mike Brady? <laughs> Meanwhile, the slugs continue to murder, and damn, the slugs just blew up a house, too. The slugs mean business. Along the way, we've been seeing scenes with this lady who has a serious alcohol problem, and you're like, well, she's clearly going to die in some embarrassing way. But no, she has this weird, rare horror movie epiphany that she needs to get help and change her life. And then I'm like, wow, this movie is going to take a shitty character, redeem her, and then kill her off? But then you never see her again, I don't think. This movie is so goddamn weird. I want pictures of everything, understand? Sure, Sheriff. Don't sure, Sheriff, me, unless you know you're sure. I'm sure that I'm sure, Sheriff. You better be, Dobbs. I'll shove my boots so far up your butt, you'll need a tow truck to get it out. Good morning, Sheriff. Who let you in here? Oh, it's nice to see you, too. Holy shit, Sheriff, calm down. Out here, what do you want? Look, Sheriff, I know it sounds crazier than hell, but I got this theory. Now, maybe, just maybe we're dealing with a... A mutant form of slug here, a, a kind that eats meat. Ha! <laughs> that don't sound crazy, Brady. That is crazy. Kill us slugs, for Christ's sakes. What'll it be next? Demented crickets? Rampaging mosquitoes, maybe? All right, all right, all right. So you explain the, the slimy shit on the floor and the, and the dead bodies. I will, I will. Let, just let me do my job and get out of here. Yeah, do that. What are you staring at, goddammit? You got nothing better to do to stare at me? Everyone calm down. All right, would you get uh, Palmer on the phone for me, please? Julie? Yeah. Hi, would you get Palmer on the phone for me? Sure, right away. You don't have to bite my head off. I'll bite your head off. What the hell is wrong with everyone in this town? Calm down. The slugs have crazy face exploding powers, too. Houses, faces, whatever you got, these slugs are going to blow it up. It's about time I'm doing your job for you here. This is a matter for the health department. We found these on the plate. My guess is they came from the food. They got the no worms in my food. I got no worms here. Sure, sure. Well, well what? Who died? I thought you knew a friend of yours, Dave Watson. What? Well, do I close this place or what? Well, I don't know that yet. Well, just tell me if they came from the food. How should I know? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Why don't you just give me five minutes? And I'll figure it out. Terrific. That's wonderful. Everyone calm the hell down. Look, now listen to me, Dobbs. You tell that fat bastard to get his ass over to Frank Phillips' office immediately. You got that?
Do you want to do that line again? No? Okay. I'll take full responsibility. You ain't got the authority to declare happy birthday. Not in this town. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. What's it gonna take? For starters, a request from the mayor. Then my concurrence. Now get your ass out of here. The health inspector guy is totally on board with the killer slugs theory, but no one will listen. There's probably a town festival approaching with the tourism and the mayor and, you know. What the hell is he eating? Wendy's? Peas? Tomatoes? Beets? Ugh. It's a chemical. It'll, uh, make them explode. Explode? Yeah. It reacts to the moisture in their bodies. Let me get this straight. You want to take something that explodes when it comes in contact with water down into the sewer. Mm-hmm. You're crazy. Don, we have no alternative. Clearly, this is the only logical plan. But I tell you what, when I do get back, how about if we get naked and get crazy? Ew, why would you say that to your mom? Anyway, as promised, everything explodes. The humans in this film feel like they were written and directed by aliens. The dialogue and the pacing are all nuts. There's a reason for that. The director is from Spain and didn't speak any English. So when directing dialogue scenes, he would have no idea if the lines were said correctly or even if they sounded good. The acting was just stuff that filled time between the horror scenes, which was where his real interest was. And that's why Slugs works. The horror scenes are so earnest and crafted with such passion despite their cheapness. The music is really going for it too, except for some of those TV sitcom music cues that we got on occasion. The movie wants you to know it's serious, even though it's absolutely not. Adding to the disjointed weirdness of Slugs is that the exteriors were all filmed in New York, but most of the interiors were all shot in Madrid, Spain, which explains why when a character walks into a New York restaurant, the interiors look completely foreign. I sure wasn't expecting a full-fledged special edition disc, but Arrow Video's Slugs the Movie the Blu-ray is loaded with stuff. There's two commentary tracks, and then about an hour of interviews, including one with co-star Emilio Linder, the dude whose face explodes. He's from Argentina, which explains why his entire character was dubbed, adding to the WTF-ness of the dialogue scenes. Other participants include special effects artists, the film's art director, and the film's production supervisor, who takes us on a location tour throughout Lyons, New York. Slugs is a strong example of how bad movies of the past are often superior to bad movies made today. There's an insane amount of passion behind the scenes of Slugs, despite the acting and the dialogue. The people making it were doing the best they could, and they believed they were making something great. Today, people make bad movies on purpose. Watch Samurai Cop 2 for an example of what I'm talking about. You can't do that. An entertaining bad movie has to come from a place where the people making it thought they were making great work. But look, I don't want to argue about this. I realize other movies this season might have deserved a higher rating or what have you, but Slugs is a goddamn masterpiece, and I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. 